Hey, what's up, everybody? One pick here. Uh, another short and sweet, I guess, news update. So, um, as we all know, if you've been paying any attention, multi-classing is here. We have the ability to um, use any skill, perk, ability, whatever, as long as we're able to roll it from uh, various classes, whatever classes we have leveled to 30 plus. For more information on that, I've written, done uh, a few different videos on how the multi-classing system works. Feel free to watch any of them. It goes through that entire background. But uh, it looks as though the multi-class system is coming to live servers this week, along with a modification to the XP system to boot. SDF ends up writing, barring any major surprises, we plan to introduce the multi-class experiment onto the live servers later this week. We plan to modify the level up table on the live server by making it a little easier to reach master class level and to earn the early learning tokens. When the update is implemented, all players will have their levels automatically adjusted to the new higher levels and any additional learning slash reward tokens will be automatically credited to the character. We've also decided to add a maximum cap for learning tokens at 13, otherwise level 270. Now, the interesting part about this is they're doing what they did on the test server. The, for whatever reason, they decided that they weren't going to wipe the test server and on test the characters that are on test were the characters that were on test, for, well, I guess, from the beginning um, and has been updated accordingly, which ended up causing some, some bugs with characters that had already done certain quests and it kind of like bugged them out and they weren't able to do much of anything so they had to re-roll characters that had been made like say a handful of days prior to the update where they added multi-classing uh, all ended up having their character levels modified based on the total amount of xp they had accumulated now the character levels are 50 xp between each one whereas they were a thousand from 20 to 21 and so on so there were characters that were like level 20 25 that were suddenly level 150 because they had amassed so much xp it, it looks like it's going to be the the same case here but we obviously don't know what exactly we're going to see in terms of how much xp is going to be needed for each level personally i think that if this is a test it should be somewhere around like 100 xp per level let people like really grind it out and try and see what they can pull off and there is obviously the mind wipe that happens every 24 hours at midnight gmt for 500 gold you can pay and have your characters um perks whatever they've learned wiped away and try again so it could make for some really interesting stuff like today when i was playing I gotta be honest, I actually had a, a lot of fun. I made a wizard that was capable of using Divine Strike. It had Hydra and Life Drain. It had Shadow Touch. Um, there was there was some really, really interesting things that I was doing that should not have been able to be done, but yeah, because of the, the whole class interwoven stuff, I was able to make a really interesting hybrid with um, with a wizard, a cleric, and, and a warlock, and I think you, you can do some fun stuff with it. But anyway, uh, the reward token system looks like it's coming in. And then finally, he said, as we've noted multiple times, we are looking at this multi-class test as a true experiment for this season. Please note that there is a very good chance that the multi-class system will be substantially will substantially evolve for the next season or may even be removed based on the response from the community. Finally, this season, including the preseason prior to next wipe, is scheduled to end in early June. Thank you. We have about a month and a half worth of time to experiment with this system. It could end up being that this thing crashes and burns and we never ever see it again. Now, granted, I know that there are people that are going to have some really heated opinions one way or the other about whether they really like this because I've seen that in, in Reddit threads already or people that really, really dislike this because of different reasons around class identity and a bunch of different things having to do with balance issues and whatnot. I understand completely all of those things, and I want you guys to know that I share those same concerns. I personally would like to be able to explore the idea of these hybridized builds just for a little bit, and then, you know, they can make whatever iterative changes on the system that they want to, or scrap it entirely if it looks like it's just not going to fly. Personally, I like the idea that they're actually trying stuff, though. I gotta be honest. The idea of the game being the vanilla game that it is, is good enough, don't get me wrong, but I love seeing devs try to think outside the box a little bit and make something a little bit more unique than what it is that we've seen up until this point. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming and checking out the video. My name again is OnePeg. If you'd be so kind as to sub the channel here, that would be amazing. Maybe even turn on the bell if that would suit you. Otherwise, you can come and check me out over at Twitch.tv where I stream every morning around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, I will talk to you soon. Thanks, folks. Peace.